Hey guys, what's going on? Good part tutorials here and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very basic login page using PHP. So uh, what you're going to need for this tutorial is a um, as a server, so some sort of server where you can test your PHP code. I'm going to be using WAMP uh, and you also need a text editor obviously. I'm going to be using brackets but again you can use whatever you want to. And yeah, so the very basic concept of this is uh, it's pretty simple. What we want to have is we want to have the user login through some sort of form. That's going to call some PHP. It's going to check some session variables. If the if the username and password match some sort of username and password within the table, uh, it's going to log them in and it's going to set a session variable to be true. And that true session variable is going to enable them to access whatever pages they're about to access. Um, we'll get a bit more in depth as we go along, but that's just the very core concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, basic HTML file. It's going to have the HTML tags. We're not going to worry about the head tag. We just want to. We're just going to concern ourselves with the actual form for now. So this form is going to have a method of post. You can use get if you really want to. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, the action is going to be this file here, which I've already saved as index.php, and that's that. Within this form, we're going to have three input tags. Uh, one of them is going to be user input type. We want this one to be a type of text. So we want to see what the user is entering for the username. Uh, name is going to be username. Okay, uh, now we want the password. Uh, this is going to be an input with a type of password. We don't want the, anybody else to see what the password is. And this name is going to be password. Okay, now we need a submit button, so these inputs type submit. Uh, you can set the value equal to whatever you want, that's just a text on the button, so log in. And there we go, that's our basic form. So I'm going to refresh this page, this is uh, it here. We've got the username, uh, password and login. And now it's not going to do anything right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create some very a very simple PHP script. So go ahead and open up the PHP tags on the top of the document. Uh, because we're going to be using sessions in this, we're going to start the session. So all we have to do is type session underscore start. Uh, below that, what we want to do here is we want to check if the session variable has been created. Uh, and if that's been created, we want to check whether or not that is equal to true. So to do that, we just want to call a very basic is set. Uh, what we're going to be checking here is the session variable like I said before and this is going to have uh, we can set this pretty much to whatever we want so logged in uh, we'll call the and we want to check if this session is true I'm sorry <laughs> not like that if logged in is equal to true now if this is the case, we're just going to redirect them to the correct page. So this, is, this should redirect them to the pages that they're allowed to go to. Uh, so we'll call a header function, uh, location, success.php. That's going to uh, represent my um, successful login page. Okay, uh, but re realistically you'd want that to be like, say, their profile page or something like that. Pretty much any content you're trying to hide from just a normal person. All right, so if we've logged, if we're not logged in now, we just want to check whether or not this uh, form has been submitted. So we'll go ahead and call a couple more is sets. Uh, this time we want to check the post functions, uh, post variables. So username and oops, password. All right. Now, if these two have been submitted, we want to check whether or not they're equal to some sort of username and password. Um, realistically, you'd want to call this from some sort of database. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to set uh, the username and password variables in PHP. Uh, if I actually went over some, if I actually had to go over the uh, database section, that would take a lot longer. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so we're just going to create username and password. Very simple, username is user, password is password, 
and we're gonna check if these post variables are equal to that. So another if statement, if underscore post username is equal to username, and if, oh sorry, we didn't, if post password is equal to the variable password. If this is the case, we want to successfully log them in, so we're gonna set the session variable to be true and after this we want to redirect them to the correct page. So again we can call that location uh, success.php. Now that's our login page done, uh, it's very basic stuff as you can see. That's the form, uh, if we go ahead and refresh this. Okay so I've kind of already done some testing on this so it's going to be logged in. I'm just going to change the uh, session variable so we're gonna have no underscore there okay and if we retry this back uh, if I try to enter something it's just not gonna do anything all right I'm not gonna log in now because I haven't created a log out up function but um, that's pretty simple we just want to clear the uh, session variable now we're going to go to the pages that we only want to be accessible by users that are logged in. So in my case that is the success.php page. And we're going to create a very simple PHP script. Yeah. Alright, so within this PHP we're going to check whether or not the user hat is allowed to access this page which uh, they will only be allowed to access this if the session variable is equal to true. So if is set underscore session logged in and actually we don't need to do this we need to check if this is false so my bad so if the session has hasn't been started or hasn't been set sorry or the underscore session logged in is equal to false which we haven't uh, defined yet so you can set this to false uh, any way you want. You'd want to do that if you're going to create a logout function or something. But anyway, if this is the case, we just want to redirect them to the login page. So location index.php. Exit that. All right. Otherwise, if they have logged in, what we want to do is we just want to display some content. So. All right. I'll go ahead and test this now. So we're gonna refresh the page, resend. Uh, for the username, we're gonna enter something incorrect. So some random spam. Uh, that's not gonna take us to the success page. Now, if you wanna enter the success page manually, so through URL, it's not gonna take us there. It's just gonna redirect us back to the login page, which is what we want. It's like the authentication part. Uh, now, if we log in, so user, password, Mm, okay. Okay, so something bad is happening here. Hmm. Oops. Uh. Hmm. So what's happened here is, so I'm assuming we're in a, yes, we're in a redirect loop. So just to uh, check this, just in case you guys have forget this. So we get the, yeah, so we want to check it if this is set, so that's correct. Uh, if this isn't set, hmm, I think that might be a bug maybe, no. Okay, I see what's happened here. We, we haven't called the session start on <laughs> this very simple stuff. Um, sometimes you forget it. So if we retry that, it's going to take us to the success page. And that's it guys. That's a very basic login system. Uh, if this has helped you in any way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.